That night I had a bad dream. I dreamed that the people were again hiding in the great rock canyon. wind seemed like a voice, and I could not go back to sleep. I wanted to awaken my grandfather, but he was sleeping like a dead person. The voice of the wind grew stronger. I could not forget the people starving in their caves. I could not forget my hatred for the white men. I knew my thoughts were evil and might bring me bad luck. I tried to think of good things, to put my thoughts on the path of light. But it was dark everywhere. I have always been afraid of the night. But then the chindis come out, the ugly evil spirits. I felt as if eyes were watching me. of the wind kept getting louder and louder. It was telling me to beware of something that was going to happen. The evil thought kept growing in me like poison swelling from a snake bite. In my fear, I had almost done a very bad thing. For we do not kill our brothers, the animals and birds and snakes. My grandfather said that he would sing the chant of the beauty path so the rattlesnake would not be offended. We stopped at a trading post not far from the mouth of the Great Canyon, for Gray Singer knew the trader there. I wanted to go inside the store with him, but I had to watch the horse. Then I heard a group of people talking. A man was saying that the white chief in Washington was going to make all Indian children between six and 12 years old go to school. That meant me, for I am seven. Then another spoke and said no child of his would ever go to one of those schools, for the son of long mustache had been taken there and they had cut off his hair and jabbed needles in his arm and made him talk like a white man. That worried me. I didn't want to be jabbed in the arm with needles and have my hair cut off and talk like a white man 